Merry Christmas, Left Coast Wine and Book Club. These are all the ingredients to make our tamales. We got the pork, the onions, garlic, tomatoes, chilies, three different types, spices, marjoram, pepper, and cloves. So, I'm going to be taking uh, a video of the progress here and uh, you can see how we make the ingredients so that we can finish them off at our party. Step one, you're going to cook the pork. It'll be pork, onions, garlic, salt, and water on the stove, boiled or simmered until tender. So you can see now that we have our meat on the stove and we're going to boil it until it starts coming apart. While the meat is cooking, I start preparing the salsa. I do that by taking the chilies out of the bag and tearing the ends off, dumping the seeds out, piling them up in a pan, and uh, from there I'm going to put them in the broiler to toast them a little bit. Traditionally you would put them on a, on a kamal or a flat pan, like a cast iron pan, and roast them that way. But since there's so many, I'm just going to put them in the broiler since I have other ingredients to char as well. We'll be doing the tomatoes and onions um, to char. So anyway, I just think this will be the easiest way to get a little bit of flavor on it. Now that the chilies have been roasted, I'm going to rehydrate them in some water. Those will sit for about 20 minutes. Because there's a bunch of time involved, I went ahead and prepped some of the rest of the salsa, which I will now put in the broiler while all the chilies are rehydrating. And I will repeat that uh, for another batch, so that should be enough to cover uh, the salsa that we're making for our tamales. Now that the chilies have rehydrated, I'm going to go ahead and puree them with uh, the onions, tomatoes, garlic, and spices. And we're almost done with the salsa. So here's the finished product. We have the salsa and we have the meat. I'm going to shred the meat and then I will put it in the salsa and then the filling will be ready. It's looking good.